Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. So I've been covering this DK Oldies um, saga for several weeks now here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. And I think we've all been hoping for DK Oldies to come out and admit to wrongdoing, be transparent and own up to their mistakes or their poor business practices. I know uh, Rich over at Review Tech USA has invited them onto his uh, Twitch stream to address everything publicly and to kind of kind of go back and forth and have an open discussion but he knows as well as I know that's never going to happen I think we all know that's never going to happen and I'm going to tell you guys why it's never going to happen it's never going to happen because it can't happen DK Oldies cannot admit to wrongdoing at this point because it's gone on for too long and it's gone too far they've had too many orders come in they've wronged way too many people to ever come out and say you know, we never refurbished our consoles. If they did that, they would open themselves up to a class action lawsuit for anybody that has placed an order based on believing that the consoles that they were purchasing an order for were refurbished when in fact they didn't refurbish them. If they admit to that, they open themselves up for massive lawsuits. Now, if you were refunded, so if you did a return for a full refund like I was lucky enough to do, which in turn, it turns out I'm one of the lucky ones because so many people are being denied because they are voiding their warranties by opening up their consoles, which is exactly what I did in all honesty. We saw it live as I filmed it and posted that video, my first video. Um, you saw exactly what I did. I opened up my consoles, the first thing I did. In fact, I should have tested the damn thing. That was dumb on my part, but I opened it up first and checked for dust and debris in there because that was the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to verify whether or not it was refurbished or not. And it wasn't refurbished. There was no indication in there at all that it was refurbished. So I went, reached out to them directly, said I wanted to do a um, return for a full refund. They didn't give me any argument on there and it was a flawless uh, return process. Most people are not getting that same treatment. At the end of the day, it, let's address the elephant in the room. It could have been because I'm a content creator. All they had to do was Google the information on my order slip and this channel would have popped right up. So they could have looked at that and said, hey, this guy's gonna do some content on us. Let's just get him out the door, give him the most seamless return process possible, send him on his way. Most people don't get that treatment though, unfortunately. So I've talked to people that have done the same sort of situation, but maybe not as timely as I did. They open up their consoles later on, because of the content that they've seen about how DK Oldies doesn't refurbish consoles, they found a mess and brought it to DK Oldies' attention. DK Oldies said, well, you opened up your console, opening up your console voids your warranty, so we can't do anything for you. Maybe they give you a credit, maybe they just tell you to piss off. That's how they do business. If they told you to piss off and you gave them money based on the condition of an item that was posted on their website and they eventually come out and say, we never did this, we were never offering that, in the condition as advertised, you could partake in a class action lawsuit against them because they still have your money, you still have a product that doesn't meet the expectations, doesn't meet the description that was posted and publicly advertised. So all of these people could fe feasibly partake in a class action lawsuit against DK Oldies and it would be a slam dunk for them if DK Oldies came out and said, we never refurbished our consoles, we were unethical, we made mistakes, but we're gonna better ourselves moving forward. It doesn't matter. The damage was already done to so many people already. It would open them up to lawsuits that would just bury them instantly. They would be done tomorrow if that was the case. Their YouTube money would not be able to save them. The tons of money that they've made off of people giving them their hard earned cash for consoles that they believed were refurbished would not be able to save them. So that is why they are never gonna come forward, never gonna have an open discussion. They are never going to admit to wrongdoing of any kind. They're going to continue to double down, triple down, quadruple down on their lives because that is the only option they have in front of them at this point. They probably wish that they didn't have that as their only option. They probably could wish they could take back some of the things that they've done. But at this point in time, they can't. They should at the very least start refurbishing consoles, but it doesn't seem like they're even doing that. But that is why we're never going to see them actually come forward and admit to any wrongdoing. Initially, I hoped that they would. They could have probably half-assed some sort of response to at least cool down some of the heat that they have on them right now, but they aren't even doing that. So it's crazy, but you know, if you think about it, this is really their only option at this point. So they will not be on Review Tech USA's Twitch stream. I promise you that. He already knows that, though. Um, 
they're going to continue to do exactly what they're doing, which is push out short content that furthers their lies and um, double down on trying to persuade people that all of us YouTubers and anybody that has done unboxing or review videos are just haters and just jealous of their success. So we're going to see a lot more of what has been happening. I don't see this ending anytime soon. I think it's just going to continue until people all, you know, across the board just decide that they don't want to spend their money with DK oldies. And hey, that may never even happen. But at the end of the day, they're going to continue to do what they're doing. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. If you didn't enjoy the video, then light me up in the comment section below. If you haven't yet hit subscribe, hit subscribe on the video here to stay in loop for all future videos. That's going to do it for today, though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.